In this video we are going to show how you can use Avish Studio Tools, a color manager to quickly render beautiful architectural exteriors. This is a simple exterior scene with a few houses illuminated with V-Ray Sun with enabled clouds and V-Ray Sky environment map. This is the sRGB render of the current view with applied multiple adjustment layers. Without the adjustment layers the contrast in the image is low and the highlights are burned. Here we first use exposure, then filmic tone map, then light balance, then curves, and on the top hue, saturation layer. Adjusting all these layers takes time and it's required that you have some experience with color correction. With Acolor Manager you can achieve a similar or even better look without adding any of these layers. To do that first you need to delete all the adjustment layers from V-Ray Frame Buffer. Then use the App Store, Avish Studio Tools, a color manager to convert your scene to Aces CG. Before rendering the scene in Aces CG we'll copy the previous render by using the 3ds Max rendered frame window for a reference. Also to have more control over our render we are going to add a V-Ray dome light. It's important to make this dome light invisible. Then in the modify panel we are going to add a map for the new light by instancing the one from background environment map slot. This way we can control the background and the dome light independently. And the last thing is to add a V-Ray light mix render element in the render setup so that we have precise control over each individual light and the exposure. Let's render this scene in Aces CG and see the result. This is the result and as we can see it is close to the image that we've created with the sRGB workflow, but this one has a lot more contrast and we are not using any adjustment layers. In Aces CG the shadows are darker and if you need to brighten them you can use light mix and adjust the strength of the individual light sources. If we turn off the lookup table that is converting the image from Aces CG to sRGB we can see that we have a lot of information in the shadows. To show more of this information first we need to increase the multiplier for the dome light. Now we can see a lot more of the shadows but this value is too big. Let's try with a value of 2. Then because we have more light in the scene we can lower the global multiplier for all lights to 0.85. And finally we can adjust the interior lights. This way with this simple setup and change of a few values we manage to achieve a similar or better looking image than the one rendered in sRGB color space. Here we can also play with the background as it's separate from the scene lights. Not only we can change the brightens but we can also change the color of the sky. With the environment multiplier we can achieve different looks just by adjusting a single value. This is the standard output of Aces CG render and this is the result with the light mix. If we need even less contrast between the shadows and the bright parts of the image we can increase the dome light to value of 3 or more. When we do that we need to compensate the exposure with the all multiplier to recover the highlights. Then we can adjust the background again and even try different values for the sun. At this point this is a representation of the artist's vision for the image, not the default Aces CG output. Let's see how to use the same workflow when working with HDRI. First we need to delete the current light setup and environment map. Now we can use the V-Ray Cosmos browser and select one of the HDRI environments supplied with this application. This one is a beautiful looking sunset. We need to make sure that this dome light is invisible and also that the texture is locked with the icon. We'll position the sun behind the house and choose a different camera angle by selecting different frame of this scene. Now before rendering again we need to convert this new object to Aces CG. To do that we can use a color manager and convert the selection. As you can see now the dome lights map is converted with OSL map from sRGB to Aces CG color space. Then to be able to adjust the background independent of the scene lights we can instance the map from the dome light to the environment map slot. Let's see how the scene looks with these changes. This is the result. The previous settings from the scene rendered with V-Ray Sun works well for the exposure of the house, 
but the background is too bright. Because of the way we set up the lights, now we can fix that in the light mix section and achieve more dramatic look. We can also increase the strength of the interior lights. And finally we can adjust the dome light to control the overall light in the scene. If we compare this output to the default ACES CG output, we see that the sky is too bright and with the light mix we can bring the brightness down and improve the image. Here we can also control the light balance by adding color to our main HDRI. For example we can add warm color and see how this affects the scene. For bigger changes we can use white balance adjustment layer and push the colors to extreme cold or warm values. Using this setup, with a few simple manipulations of the lights we can get really good looking images that are rendered in ACES CG color space and are converted to sRGB using Avish Studio Tools, a color manager. Let's try one more camera position but this time instead of a sunset we are going to render a night scene. For that we'll use frame 2 and V-Ray Sun and Sky. This time the sun will be below the horizon so that we will have a dark sky. Also for the sky it will be better to have some clouds. Before rendering this frame, it's better to convert our environment map with a color manager. First deselect all objects and press the convert selection button to access the environment map. Once the environment map is converted we can see the OSL map that is converting the sky from sRGB to ACES CG color space. Then as with previous renders, we need a V-Ray dome light. The invisible option should be checked, this is very important so that we can control the dome light and the background independently. To finish the setup we need to instance the environment map to the dome light. Now let's render this view in ACES CG color space. While we are rendering, we can see that our previous settings do not work very well for the night scene. By switching to RGB output we can see how the scene looks without the light mix. To improve the render, we can reset the light mix to defaults and start adjusting our light sources. First we can change the multiplier of the dome light, so that we have more light in the scene. Then we'll lower background multiplier so that we have more dramatic look with darker sky. And finally adjust the interior lights. For the sun we don't have to do anything because it's below the horizon. This is the RGB output and this is our color mix output. At this point we can use the white balance to find the best color temperature. With the render almost ready we can fine tune the lights depending on our artistic vision. Finally we can compare our ACES CG render with the same render in sRGB color space. To save the current image, we can clone the 3ds Max rendered frame window. To convert back this scene to sRGB we can reset the light mix, delete the white balance layer and use a color manager to set default display correction and remove the material conversion. This way we can work again in the default sRGB color space and workflow. Now we can render the scene and compare the result. While rendering we can adjust the light mix values and use multiple adjustment layers. With the render done we can compare our two images. As we can see in ACES CG we have deeper blacks and smoother highlights. If we turn off all the adjustment layers we can see that light in the sRGB image does not look natural.
and even the light mix adjustment will not help us to improve the image. With adjustment layers we can improve the image but still does not look as good as the one rendered in ACES CG color space. If you want to try a color manager for V-Ray you can do that by downloading and installing Avish Studio Tools and activate your free trial in Avish Studio Tools, Setup Dialog. Here you need to enter your email and press the Accept and Activate Trial button on the bottom. We hope that you enjoy our tutorial. Let us know in the comments below what you think about working in ACES CG color space and if you are interested to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and have a great day.